Hi, George Donnelly here of We Won't Fly. Um, you know, I've been kind of thinking about where we're at as a community, as a, um, you know, where where are we at in, in respect to kind of stages of making improvement on the issue of dignity in airports, you know, with this TSA business. Um, I want to say I think stage one of of our community, of our movement, whatever you want to call it, is knowing. It's knowing that there is a problem, knowing what it is, how it works, um, you know, all the gory details. A problem exists, we master the problem, we know what it is, we can talk about it intelligently. And a lot of people know that there's a problem. I think we're at that stage. We we have passed stage one as as a, a community that cares about dignity, especially with respect to the TS issue. We have reached stage one. Congratulations. We know there's a problem. So really, um, only the people who are kind of new to the movement or ha you know haven't maybe haven't advanced as much as um, as those of us who have been here since the beginning. And uh, you know, for me, the beginning was kind of. Uh, November last year, but for a lot of you, the beginning is uh, 2001. But we don't really need to talk so much about the problem anymore. You know, we don't need to um, to exclusively focus on the instances that are identifiable of the problem. You know, the different cases of TSA abusing people. That is important for the people who haven't reached our stage, but there are those of us who have reached this stage. We know what the problem is. We can talk about it intelligently, and you know what? Now the stage is stage two. Let's do something. All right, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's, I think stage two is we do simple things. All right, and a lot of us are probably already at that stage. Um, but let, let's try to bring, take it up a notch as a community. Let's do things. What form could this take? For example, the folks in New York City, Danny Panzella and the other folks, uh, Gigi Bowman, I believe, and there are probably other folks involved in organizing Ban the Scan, which was in Union Square uh, Park, New York City, I believe it was June 10th. They got together a lineup of speakers and people spoke to an audience in public about this issue. People met each other, P I, I unfortunately, I was so close to making it and I feel terrible that I didn't, but I understand. So a good number of people went, people got to know each other, make friends, you know, shake hands in person, talk about things. It's, um, it's a way to move ourselves forward. We build tighter bonds amongst ourselves. We get to know each other and we do things and we reach out to the public. So there should be a similar event call it whatever you like, Doesn't have, don't have to call it ban the scan. There should be a similar event in Philadelphia, Washington DC, Baltimore, Atlanta, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Portland, Oregon, Boise, uh, Dallas, Houston, and everywhere in between, even in Canada, even in the UK. We have to think beyond even our own borders because while the issue is worst here, it, it is present in other places as well. So, um, we do have a lot of fine uh, leaders in our community, but we need more. Are you a person who believes in this? Do you, do you stand for something here? Do you have principles? Does this matter to you? Then stand up and do something. Get together with other folks in your town and organize a mini outreach conference like this. It, it's not a lot of work. I can help you organize it. I mean, I, I probably won't be able to make it, but I can help you organize it from afar. I have tons of website, website and promotion skills. I'm here to help. And then, you know, let's think about what else we can do. Pamphlets. Let's write a really nice pamphlet. And everybody can print it up at their local printers and hand that out everywhere. Um, you know, and then, and then we can start seeing about more things we want to do. But the point is, my basic point is, and I thank you for listening, is many of us have reached stage one, right? We know all, we know the problem inside and out. Time to move on to stage two. 
you know, don't forget about, I'm not saying, you know, ignore talking about the problem, but I'm saying like, all right, let's scale that back a little bit and let's add in an action component. Because if we have our principles, if we know what the problem is, but we stay silent, if we don't do something about it, what is the point? Anyway, thanks again. George Donnelly of We Won't Fly com and uh, my email is uh, me me at georgedonley.com contact me anytime the spelling is g-e-o-r-g-e -E, of course last name is d-o-n-n-e-l-l-y me at georgedonley.com thanks <laughs>